Hello. Welcome and thanks for watching the basics of brain tumor imaging series. In this short video presentation, we will review how to differentiate intraaxial from extraaxial intracranial tumors. Extraaxial per se is a descriptive term for characterized lesions that are external to the brain parenchyma, in contrast to intraaxial which describes lesions within the brain tissue. When we study an intracranial mass, the first thing we want to know is whether the mass lies inside or outside of the brain. Intraaxial tumors are located within the brain tissue and arise from the brain cells. While extraaxial tumors are located outside the brain and arise from structures lining the brain or surrounding it, in adults, 75% of all intraaxial tumors are either astrocytomas or secondary implants. Intraaxial tumors arise from neurons, supporting glial cells namely astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and ependymal cells, in addition to blood vessels and secondary implants. Extraaxial tumors originate from the bones of the skull base and calvaria, meninges and cranial nerves. In adults, 80% of all extraaxial tumors are either meningiomas or schwannomas. Extraaxial tumors are the most common adult intracranial neoplasms and encompass a broad spectrum of pathologic subtypes and typically pre-sent as slowly growing dural-based masses. In the next slides, you will have multiple features that can be found in extraaxial tumors. Number 1, the dural tail sign, with an enhancement of adjacent meninges. Number 2, peripheral, broad base along calvarium and dura. In this case, there could be also overlying bone changes. Number 3, displacement of the brain from the skull. In addition, there could be also subarachnoid space widening of the adjacent subarachnoid space slash cistern and white matter buckling. The cortex will be intervening between the mass and white matter. And number four, one can find vessels interposed between the brain and the lesion. Want to know more? Please visit hot-topics.org and learn all about the different types of adult and pediatric brain tumors, and their current classification, diagnosis and treatment options.